Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Both fighters are 31, with some differences in height, but the same reach. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. It's reducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 17 wins, nine losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Turku, Finland, presenting the challenger, Mach 1, Mr. Finland, Amirkani. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. So the fight is now underway on one side here with the fighter who does everything well, taking on... Oh! Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lewis. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Beautiful body kick. That's a big strike right there. Amir Khani gets hit by that leg kick. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night as that landed. Kick to the body by Mokwan Amir Khani. And they separate. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. 
He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Nice kick. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, that's a nice strike. Well done to block that power kick to the bottom. Big leg kick land. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Caught the kick. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Right hand upstairs. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Oh, man, this is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Punch coming, it's blocked. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Job defensively to block the strike there by Lee. Nice head kick. Real quick leg kick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Lee gets caught with that punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. And he landed the right hand there. You're losing. Give me the takedown. Dig and kick. One minute to go. Just missed with the left there. Nice punch by Amir Khan. with the right hand. Amir Khani's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Can't take many of those, you better check. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Let me see. Deep breath. Breathe. Take a drink. All right, here we go. Listen. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. Big call for too much land. Now he gets back to range. Look at the force behind that leg kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, bone on bone, shin 
slash foot right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those are fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, time. I do. A little bit. Horrible. Nice punch there by Amir Khani. Big shot. Lee's kick is blocked. How about that chin? Oh, is that a good knee to the body there by Lee? All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. That strike blocked by Maquan Amir Khan. Oh, straight right. Three minutes to go. This fight's going to be over, GC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay in the court. He mixed it up. He went high with him. He got him going low. And now he's got him hurt very bad. Lands a nice one, too. Oh, straight right. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. That one snuck in. Nice strike. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. What a punch. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Timely defense there, huge block for him. The right hook to the body. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. He loaded up there on that high kick. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Punches block. Big power shot there. Just unable to quite find that range. Round three next. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. Settle down. Listen, he's landing way too many body shots. Way too many. We're way too good for that. 
All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage and see if he's going to get him here. He does. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize his high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish his fight. Oh, that's right here. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Beautifully timed and place kick there by Amir Khan. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice punch, Lee. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, nice. Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Maxwan Amir Khan. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Just out of range with that left hook. Big kick land. Pretty good right hand. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt there, DC. I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty telegraphed, not his best effort. Yes, he may as well have sent a text message ah. to his opponent saying, I'm gonna shoot the moment the fight starts. Of course, he got defended. Set up your attack, Jeff, man. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yeah. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Amir Khani's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Oh, beautiful. Oh, there, DC. He massive, is hurt. massive hook lands. And his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Connie gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Gets up again here, but hurting. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Maquan Amir Khan. Nice job defensively there as he keeps his hands up, not just protecting his face, but also what is a pretty significant cut. You cannot allow that to get hit anymore because the board starts to split and the blood starts to go into the eye. It not only is damaging in terms of the physical appearance of the cut, but the blood going into the eye almost completely shuts down that side of your face. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, and there's a kick to the body. Not having that one blocked by Lee. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Amir Khani gets kicked and once again, target area of the body. Same bat time, same bat channel. You think he's gonna look to set up that hook again here? I mean, you... Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Seconds winding down in round three.
much improved defensively as he blocks what the shot. Round. Oh. All right, so that's the end of it in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. Oh, that's a good right hand. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Beautiful kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Switching stances here. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Blocks the shot. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at 57 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout. And So the celebration is on, and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion and still after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished, I think you can still argue